Cranbrook. It's home to roughly 20,000 people, is a regional hub for the East Kootenay, and when it comes to the outdoors, has a little something for everyone. Welcome to Where You Live, and we're in the beautiful Royal Alexandra Hall here at the Cranbrook History Centre. And I'm joined by Cranbrook City Council at Ron Popoff. Ron, thanks for giving us your time. Thank you for inviting me. No problem. Now, you first came to Cranbrook back in 1989. How did you, how did you end up here? Well, it's kind of a story, but I'm originally a Greater Vancouver boy growing up uh, in Port Coquitlam. And I wanted to uh, solve the environmental problems because Greenpeace was just happening back then. So my post-secondary was called environmental health. Of course, there's no jobs necessarily at that time uh, in the Lower Mainland, so I s put my resumes out far and wide and I worked for uh, 10 years in Fort McMurray. So I was actually coming down here on a work uh, trip to uh, identify what was going on with the pulp mill in Alpha, uh, it, uh, sorry, at Skookumchuck because we were going to be getting a craft pulp mill on the Athabasca River just before Fort McMurray. And it was in my meetings and investigations that I bumped into my old mentor uh, at the health unit here in Cranbrook at the day, and he says, do you want a job? So my uh, brand new bride, Joanna, and I uh, moved from Fort McMurray here to Cranbrook, uh, pretty much uh, sight unseen, and uh, it just felt so important to be back in British Columbia, surrounded by mountains, and frankly, outside of the big city. Yeah. What was, what was Cranbrook like back then? Obviously, I'm assuming a lot different than it is today. Um, yes, I mean, frankly, my wife forgives me now, Joanna, but at the time, uh, her re response was, heck, Cranbrook's kind of a third world country. <laughs> I mean, uh, that we don't, uh, there's a lot of modern amenities and residential and commercial and, you know, the whole business in Cranbrook as a hub now. We're going in there and I'm going, okay, it's going to work, it's going to work, trust me, and, you know, obviously it has. Yeah, and despite a few reservations, you obviously stayed here and raised a family. What was, in your opinion, what's this area been like to, to raise a family? You've got two kids. Yeah, so I have two uh, adult children now. Um, uh, there was one point in my career in the late 90s where I, you know, as a provincial government employee, I could have transferred anywhere in the province, and I had first choices. So we, we scoured around the Vancouver Island, Victoria, Vancouver, Kelowna, and I realized that the balance of quality of life and, and, and careers for both Joanna and I and for our children, this was where we were going to stay. Um, you have that quality of life balance here that uh, uh, I don't think you have in other parts of British Columbia. So we chose to stay and we're happy to be here. And I think my children are also happy to be here. They're all, they're getting established in their careers and in families and uh, established in the community. So what more could a father want? Absolutely, and, and talking about getting established into a community, you've spent a lot of time volunteering in this, in this town, you've been involved in the Kinsmen's and the, especially Rotary now. Yes. Um, what have you learned about, about the need for volunteering in a town like this over that time? Well, I mean, to start with, when Joanne and I moved here, we didn't know a soul. And through her work at Experience Life and, and teachers and, and through my work, uh, staff, they're all awesome, but that Cranbrook then, you know, had some clicks to it. And, you know, if you wanted to be more than just go to work and shop, and you needed to get it involved in your community, which I had familiarization with back with my father. So for me, it was easy. Um, what, how do I do to get involved in my community? Some colleagues of mine um, introduced me through to Kinsman, uh, which was now, the, I guess we could call the, the JCI, the new version of Kinsman because of the awesome work that young business professionals are doing in our community today through JCI. But back then it was through Kinsmen and through uh, volunteering in, uh, with your kids' sports and your kids' activities that you really start to have a sense of community. And uh, it's been so rich for me and for my wife Joanna and now our, our, our family to, uh, to actually say Cranbrook is not just home, but our community is, is home. And a few years ago, you decided that, um, you obviously, with, a, with a, a passion for the community, that you, you wanted to run for city council. Talk about that decision and, and how you came to that after all these years. Uh, I'll reflect back. So it'll be, we're in our fourth year on city council. Um, it wasn't that I wanted to run for city council. My strength is behind the scenes, um, but you know, through trying to coerce, coerce, uh, encourage others to run, 
way more talented than I am, uh, that kept coming back, well, why don't you run then if, you're that, if it's that important to you? So um, myself and, and others, we realized there needed to be some effective change in the community and uh, thought, well, we'll give it a shot. And uh, the election occurred. Uh, there was a whole sweep of council, mayor and all councillors were brand new and you know it's now in fourth year and looking forward to the future. Mm -hmm. And so as you mentioned fourth year you're coming to the end of your your term your first term here on council what what are you most proud of from your from your time in council this 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 term? We, I have a shopping list um, of, of what I feel are successes in our community. Um, the first thing we did was we got rid of the two-tier recreational system uh, which frankly just upset the tourism and also upset everyone outside of Cranbrook. Why should we pay an extra rate for the swimming pool or for joining soccer or baseball? So you, 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 you take, you remove things like that to create partnerships and friendships and, and alliances. And you know, that's been a strength of what uh, we've been doing on council. Obviously our, our major road program, um, we were bold, we raised, uh, we put to the public, you know, a, a $10 million increase in taxes uh, so we could start doing something with our deteriorating roads. Cranbrook's roads are now way better than Montreal's, I'm proud to say <laughs> that. Um, we also inherited um, a, a culture at City Hall, uh, which was, we called it the barriers to business. And uh, now we're, we've actually are working on changing that culture from a, you know, a, a no attitude to a yes, how can we get the community to grow and prosper. Any, any still works in progress for you? Oh yes, that's why the next four years will be equally exciting. We still have to uh, work on the completion of Idlewild Park, which will be the jewel of Cranbrook. Lots of exciting things happening there. We uh, continuing with our economic development and growth of the community. Downtown revitalization, uh, it's, uh, we've been working on it. Uh, there's gonna be more and more impact I think happening with downtown, getting more vibrancy and hopefully some more residential development downtown. And a really neat, exciting thing was the old timers tell me of the day back when, when they were kids, they would go fishing or tubing in Joseph Creek. And you know, frankly now it's terrible and it's, so we're actually gonna be repurposing, rejuvenating Joseph Creek to restore it back to the recreational and environmental and uh, flood pr pr protection values that the old timers tell us that uh, they enjoyed once upon a time. So just some examples. So with all those things in mind, then yes. uh, is, is another term, are you, are you considering running for another term on city council? Oh, here's the commitment question. <laughs> um, a lot of uh, reflection with my wife and family and fellow council and my network here in Cranbrook and yes, I think uh, another term, another four years uh, would be something I would look forward to and, and also really appreciate the support um, I've received personally from, from the public. Thank you very much for joining us on Where You Live On. It's been an absolute pleasure. Yes. Thanks, James. And don't go anywhere. We've got more coming up after the break.